The Formula One car is a beautiful piece of engineering, but behind that beauty is a beast. One question I get asked more than any other is how difficult is it to drive one of these machines? I've been invited by Red Bull out here to Barcelona to drive their championship winning RB8 and it should give you some idea of how difficult it is to drive an F1 car, both from a physical and technical point of view. So we have a full support crew here. Tony Burrows is operating the test team here and will be talking to me once I'm in the car. We're going to give you some different camera angles today. We're going to be able to show you how the driver's feet are working on the pedals. We're going to show you how the start procedure and the use of the hands. We're also going to give you a little insight. You never get the chance to see the driver being strapped into the car. And this is a very intimate relationship. Look, I can almost reach out and kiss him. So once the uh, intimate banter is put to one side, the driver's positioned in the car, helmet would go on, of course, and then I would be talking to Tony. Tony would be telling me what the procedures are uh, for whatever the testing happens to be. The first test we're going to do is a start procedure. So I'll get my helmet on, Tony will talk me through, and we'll have some great angles for you. Going down to pit lane, we just do a quick systems check, make sure you've got brake pressure. All the systems are operating as to be expected. Now when you're on a parade lap around to do the start of the Grand Prix, adjustment to the engine would be done now. Whatever mode that you start with the engine, then you have to operate in that engine mode for the first few laps of the Grand Prix. So you wait for the last car in position call to come. You would then look up to the lights, the first red light would come on, you'd start to build your RPM. And then release the clutch. down to turn one, looking in your mirrors, making sure that no other cars are there. You'll be able to see in the cockpit, we only have two pedals in the Formula 1 car. The clutch is in the back of the steering wheel. Into turn three, which is a mighty corner, a huge amount of G-load. Opening the car, fighting the steering. And then again, hard on the brakes into four. A huge amount of braking force. into the hairpin, a slow corner, a moment to take a breath. Up the hill, this is not a holiday destination. This is brutal in this car. And then hard on the brakes again, I can feel that massive hit, like a sledgehammer in the back of your head. Huge amount of wheel spin as I apply too much throttle. That's not good for surface temperature of the tyre. Into the king, overcooked it slightly on the way in. It's made me a bit slow and out of position at the chicane. And then out of the chicane, through the last corner, and you do it another 60 times. So a great reminder of the physical challenge that these drivers are under. And the truth is, it's really, really difficult. The physical loads that are required and the fitness that these drivers have is what makes it really, really difficult. Formula One cars are like on-off switches. If you're not in the high-speed zone, you turn off the brakes, you turn off the tires. So you have to go out and give maximum attack. And if you can't do that, forget it. They are really difficult to drive. Yeah.